played this game in a while. I don't even remember what cars I have that I can build. Let us see. I ain't ran it on this new computer. It used to run kind of choppy on my old one. Customer vehicles. I think I built that one. I've been working on this one. I kind of want to start from scratch for y'all. That's a customer vehicle. Let's just see what I got in the garage. Restoring what doesn't. Okay, so this must be the restored level. These are all uh, rusted junk. Whenever I bought them, I have repaired them and mostly all of them put different engines in them. Okay, this one hasn't been repaired. It's not that much junk. Ooh, this one's in rough shape. one of the game's uh, pretend cars, the Bolt Hellcat. These are all the different motors I can put in it. Let's see what we got on the second level. You know, I do know one thing. I don't have enough room, I don't think, to put any cars into the shop right now. So maybe we'll just finish up this, uh, this Atlanta. Kind of looks like an El Camino. Pretty cool looking car. Now we'll just work on this. I haven't really done much on it. Pull the engine out. Take the battery out. I'm sure it needs to be replaced. We'll put it on the charger. Oh yeah. Have I disconnected my transmission yet? Before you take the engine off, you gotta take the transmission off. And that starts with the drive shaft. I know, I know, this is not the most realistic thing in the world, but it's close to it. It's pretty detailed. It doesn't go down to every single nut and bolt, but I know it. There we go. Now we can take the engine out. Well, while it's up, might as well just take the tires off. We want to replace these two. We'll go ahead and take all the suspension apart. Brakes. Disc. Hubcap. Wheel bearing hub. Front wheel hub.
There are some small parts on here, but if you don't, uh, if you don't remember what goes where, you'll be sitting there with a car that won't start. It's pretty dumb because I mean it's sometimes it's like a rubber bushing, and your car won't start because of a rubber bushing. Yeah, it's kind of silly, but yeah. Figure out what you're missing and get it in there. Just don't forget your bushings. See these bushings right here? You forget one of those. There's four of them on the frame here. That's where the engine sits. Suspension. There's two more over here. If you forget those. It will royally make you angry when you can't figure out why your beautiful car won't start because of these four little bushings. The game is kind of choppy. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's because of the stream or what. When you're taking stuff apart, you just kind of take it off in order. I usually remember what comes off when, but I haven't played in a while, so I gotta remember. So, like, whenever you highlight a part like this, and it's yellow, not green, then it's telling you, oh, well, you have to take this, uh, this suspension arm off first. And then you highlight the suspension arm, and it says, hold on, you gotta take the tie rod and the shock absorber off first. So, now that's green, we'll take the shock absorber off. And now we gotta take the. Sorry, the tie rod. Now we're taking the shock absorber off. Now we can take off this box suspension arm. And we are good to go with the front suspension. Take the sway bar off. And that's it. That is. Oh, hold on. I've got the tie rod over here. Inner tie rod. And the steering rack. Take the steering rack off. And we can also take the front suspension cross mount off. Completely disassembled with an engine floating in the air. Yeah, I know. It is what it is. Still floating. You know, I, I was kind of hoping they were going to come out with another one of these games, but this, this company, Playway, they seem to just be putting out all kinds of different sim games. Some of them are kind of silly. It seems like they're releasing them so fast that it's, I don't know, I don't want to say bad games because I haven't played them, you know, they might be great, but if you come out with a new tank simulator, tank mechanic simulator, motorcycle mechanic simulator, they're all pretty quickly, I don't know, just kind of be wary of them, I guess, but this is a good game, there's some good DLC with some some real uh, vehicles like Ford, Dodge, Pontiac, got a few others I can't remember. Like I said, I had one of them. The back suspension is always a little different. They're usually drum brakes on the front or the disc. And then you've got these. These, uh. Leaf springs on the back. Oh, God, I can't forget that rubber bushing. I forget the rubber bushing, it messes you up. Be replaced. 
So pretty much anything in this game that needs to be replaced is going to show some rust on it. You can always uh, examine it by right clicking and examine mode. And then you just walk up to it, do that, and turn yellow telling you, hey, that's not very good. Orange is even worse. Spring. Just tell me I got to examine that by test driving. But I can tell you, I, I picked this car up in a uh, in a junkyard, so most of it's going to need to be replaced. Once you level up enough, you can actually go over to the tool station and repair a lot of this stuff, which is always what I try to do, is repair as much as I can. So I don't have to buy so much. It's the exhaust system gone. Right, that's it. So, suspension gone, exhaust gone. Transmission gone. I just gotta pull this engine out of here. I'll go ahead and take this exhaust, this front exhaust manifolds off. Alright, there we go. Um, I don't think I drained the oil in this. It might not even have oil in it, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, no oil. Servo out. Let's replace that. Take the radiator out. And we will take the rest of the engine apart on the engine mount. So we'll pull the engine. Oh, I think it's on car lifter A. Yes. All you do is move this over here. Pull out. Pull out, guys. And there we go. So your engine like disappears, but it's not. So we'll move this back. And you come over here to your engine stand. And we are going to add engine crate. I've got a bunch of engines in here that I've torn apart. I believe it's going to be this one. Yeah, that's it. I have put the wrong engine up here before and rebuilt it completely only to find out that it did not go in the car that it was supposed to. That was a lot of fun. I had to rebuild an entire new engine. I believe that new engine is still sitting in my inventory somewhere. Let's go ahead and pull all of this apart. A lot of rust. Hopefully I can repair some of it. I don't have to spend a lot of money. Power steering. There's a lot of little pieces. So it shows in depth pretty good. Water pump. Mechanics will tell you that's not very realistic, I know, but that is what it is. It's still a fun game. Clip B, those are two other clips. Oh man, those drive me crazy. I've forgotten one of those clips before when putting the engine back on. Talk about drive you crazy trying to figure out why your engine won't start because there's two clips missing one thing. Um, what you call it? Oh, I can't think of the name. The uh, ignition distributor. Duh. Alright. So move to the top. Take the cover off. Air filter. Base. Carburetor. You know, I might, I might not even want to put this engine in here. I'll still try to repair these parts just in case I want to. But I might want a beefier engine in this car than I usually like to put. They have performance parts, so I'll repair these parts and I'll use them for customer orders. Eventually, I'm going to run out of money here. I haven't really done customer orders in a while. And when I run out of money, I'm going to need to uh, do some customer orders. And all these parts come in handy. I can try to repair them and uh, use them for other projects. I don't have to, to buy parts anymore. 
We're taking the heads apart. I have to take these push rods off one by one. Kind of tedious. Pull the spark plugs out. And now we can take the head off. Engine head B. Make sure you always uh, pay attention to engine head A and B because I have bought two engine A heads before and wasted whatever 500 bucks or whatever it was on engine head that I did not need. Make sure you have A and B. So whenever you start this game out, you have to really kind of grind a little bit and earn some money. You have to uh, do a lot of customer orders, a lot of tedious oil changes, and then it'll move up to some transmission work, some exhaust work, some suspension and brake work. It takes a little while, but you start out with a little tiny shop and you can upgrade it and make it big like I have mine. Alright, we are going to rotate this engine so we can get to underneath. I'll take the oil pan off. And here we go. Piston parts. So we're going to take all these rod caps off so we can pull the rods out. We'll also go ahead and take these crankshaft bearings off so we can take the crankshaft out after. pistons out. Come back over here, click the piston, and there's also some con rods in there. And whenever you buy the piston, uh, there's these small piston rings basically. And it'll tell you before you put it in there you have to install the the ring with the piston. Alright, pistons are out. Now I can't take the crankshaft off until I take these clutch parts off. So I'm going to take the clutch release bearing, pressure plate. Clutch plate, flywheel, and now the crankshaft. And we are down to the bare bones of this motor. Engine block. We'll go ahead and put that in our inventory. And that's it. The engine is broken down come over here so we can repair. Can we repair a clip? Got it. I just click through here fast. And the most part looks like I'm getting everything fixed. I hear some stuff getting destroyed. Let's see if I can get this into the block. There we go. Manifold, gearbox. Oh yeah, we're getting some good parts here. Some of these parts don't have upgrades, so might as well just reuse them. A lot of parts. And yeah, you might lose track of what you can't repair, but at the same time, I'm not going to sit there for 45 minutes and click through each thing, each one of them. Whenever I get to building it, I'll figure it out. Alright, let's figure out what engine we're going to put in here. Alright, these are all the different engines we can put. Hemi is always a good choice. OHV mag. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking a Hemi. Let's uh let's 
over here. To here. So we are going to create a new engine. I think there are all the different engines you can create for all these different cars. I really want to find like a junk supercar. Like, uh, we've got some Pagani's and what else? It might be all the only supercar I have right now. I don't know, but I want to find a junk one of those and rebuild it. It'd be pretty cool. I haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, anyway, let's see. Where is that Hemi at? 425 horsepower and this was another one we could put in there 375 we always want the most power we can get this was the stock engine oh yeah we don't have to build a hemi let's do it let's build a hemi all right let's see if i have a hemi block i do look at that i've got two of them Okay, crankshaft OHVC, so pay attention to those numbers because that's that's what you're going to need on this engine. I do not believe there's a performance crankshaft, so I'm not even going to waste my time. Okay, uh, there are performance pistons. I don't have any that'll work. Okay, so I need a piston with Conrad. It is a VH, V8 OHVC. So we're going to go into our tablet. We're going to go to the tuning shop. No, I'm sorry. Not the tuning shop. The power boost shop. All right, so what I usually do is come up here and type in V8OHVC. Then everything for that car will pop up. Now, it usually pops up everything with V8OHV in it. So you just have to kind of pay attention. Don't buy the wrong stuff. I do that all the time. It's not a big deal if you do. All right, here we go. Piston with Conrad V8 OHVC. That's what we need, and it's a V8, so we need eight of them. Boom, eight of them. Uh, I don't. Sometimes I'll go in here and just buy everything with a C, and then I'll turn it out to have 16 different parts. So I'm just gonna go one at a time. No piston rings. What? I thought they came with it. So piston rings are not going to be under the power boost shop. They're just going to be in the regular main shop. So we'll come up here and type in piston rings. Can't type. Come on now. Oh, Python rings. That ain't it. That is not it. There we go. All right. So we're, there's three different kinds here. So you got Bentleys. You got your V8 OHVC, which is what we need, and then you've got your regular piston ring. So we're going to need eight of the OHVCs. There we go. So whenever you install, it'll ask you to install together. Click the Rosint Rosinta. Couple together. There we go. So the Rosinta, that's our, see, it gives you a 1.13 turbo boost. So, it's always about power, right, guys? you got to have the most power you can get. What's the point of building a car if you're just going to build it weak sauce? No weak sauce here, guys. No weak sauce. Slide these pistons in. pistons. So let's see, how many rod caps did I repair? I repaired one, two, three, four, five. I don't have to buy too many. So obviously rod caps, just a piece of hardware that holds the piston in. That's not going to have anything to do with a boost of power. So those aren't going to be in the boost shop. Those will be in your regular shop. Two of these, so I have to buy one of the crankshaft bearing caps. It's all about getting your repair up. So these right here, I will probably just junk. 
because I, their condition is just too bad to even try to repair. So go back to our tablet and we'll look for, I need crankshaft, bearing, what did I need? Two of those, I believe. Not a big deal. 76 bucks for a little piece of hardware. Um, and a rod cap. Would I have six of those? I think so. so. Oh, I think I just bought three. Didn't need three. That's okay. No, maybe I did need three. I sure did. Look at that. Rod cap installed. Crankshaft bearing. I thought I needed two of them. I guess I just needed one. See, there we go now. Got extra parts. That's how I always come up with extra parts. See if I have any camshafts. Got some broken ones. Go back to the tuning shop because we can get a good camshaft. V8 OHVC, two hundred dollars. Buy one. Slide it in. There we go. All right, let's see about these heads here. I repaired, oh, I guess I didn't repair this one I already had, I guess. This better be the Hemi. I better not just be rebuilding the stock engine. I played so long, I hope I'm doing it right. No. Well, we're going to put this engine in there, whatever it turns out to be. I'm pretty sure this is the Hemi. Oh yeah, this is the Hemi. Yeah, see, we got the we've got the two carb intake over here. That wasn't on the uh, original. I need ignition distributors. I need some push rods. I need the manifold. All right, let's start with push rods. Now look here, push rod V80HVF. Got to pay attention to that. Push rods are not going to be in the tuning shop. V8OHVF, V8O, oh, wait, no, 16, yeah, you need 16, duh, two per cylinder, all right, and what was the other thing I needed, no, nope, I'm not going to do that, because I always end up buying something I don't need, that's probably why I have all these good engine parts for this Hemi is because I was probably building one before and had the parts and didn't realize it and just went in there and stupidly just bought everything I would need for the motor without actually looking at my inventory but this time I looked don't forget your spark plugs back there I've got some spark plugs but those are all base spark plugs, and I want the power spark plugs. Let's go back to the boost shop. Spark. Look at that. Only 0.13%, but hey, every little bit helps, right? Boom. Eight. Let's install those suckers. Rocker arms, don't have any. Rocker arms V8 OHVH. Again, another different part, so make sure you watch out. I don't think these are in the. Yeah, they're not in the boost shop. I would think. Let me make sure. V8 OHVH. What it was, and we're gonna need two of them because we're gonna need one for the other side. So, kind of keep that in mind whenever you're rebuilding part of the engine that has the same on both sides. Might as well go ahead and buy 
the other side too. Go back in. There we go. Let's see if I got a cover. Nope. I'll go back and get that in a second. Let's go ahead and get these push rods in on this side. Oh. Good. Clicking the wrong thing. Fun part is figuring out what kind of tires you're gonna put on there too. I like that part. Kind of, if you've never done it before, you can screw it up pretty good because sometimes you don't understand what the numbers mean, and next thing you know, you're in, you end up with a car with some really weird-looking tires. So I would recommend to uh, turn this engine. I would recommend to look at your. Uh, tires you took off kind of go off of the rim size if you want it bigger or smaller you know what it wants to, what you want it to look like so you don't just guess and then end up with a uh, crazy looking setup spark plugs go We're almost there all right engine head cover a and b again don't buy two a's or two b's engine head cover I guess they're not orange like I thought they were. Where is a... There it is. And don't get confused and think, oh, well, here's A. A V10A makes a difference. Don't do it. Install the heads. You know, I, I think they could definitely come out and kind of polish this game up. And I think it would be really cool if you could uh, kind of customize the engines a little more. Different colors and mix and match different parts. Which you can to an extent, but you, know, you should be able to put any engine in any car. That's one thing. It, it shouldn't give you a list. You know, if I want to put a little poon any engine in a truck for some reason, I should be able to do it, right? do that but hey I should have that freedom intake manifold VHOHVH I don't know if this is in the power shop or not I might check sure it is good thing I checked prettier shinier V8OHV8 Ah, oh, shoot. V eight O H V H. Oh man, I could have put in these dang. Oh. Could have put in some aftermarket engine heads. I forgot I could do that. I want to go back and put them in, but I feel like taking it all apart. Oh. I think we'll just leave it. It'll be okay. V8 OHVH by one, twelve hundred dollars. And it would look good to have a uh, aftermarket engine heads in there. <laughs> we'll let it slide. Not a big deal. It'll be all right. It's still gonna be fast. All right. So I gotta buy all these parts fuel filter. I don't think I have any. None that are good enough. You could put those those ones in there with okay, so I can definitely buy a uh, 
power boosted ignition coils. So I'll do that and I can get a better ignition distributor too. So I could install this if I wanted to and it'll run, but it won't be a 100% car. That's kind of what I go for. Yeah. Cam gear. See, I could install that too, but hey, why not just buy a new one? V8OHV. You cannot get those in the power boost shop. So let's go to parts. at cam what in the world were you at come on now cam gear v8 ohv is it just the ohv I think it was. Watch it not be. Okay, good. Doubt I have a tiny chain. Nope. And it needs to be OHVF. good tight timing chain. Another thing you can do, if you don't want to do it the way I'm doing it, part by part, you can... Alright, so... Oh, I got a timing cover. Um, if you don't have a part, you can add it to your notes. So, like this oil filter, I know I don't have that. So, part notes, and then I can add it to the list. I need an oil filter, and it puts the part. So then when I open up my tablet, here's my list. I guess that's what it is. Oh, I thought you could open it up in the tablet. I don't remember. Oh well, well, you could put it. You could put everything you want in that list there, and then uh, one by one, pop out of here and open it up. Open up your list and see what you need, and then go back in and buy it. it takes a little bit of time, but I just like doing it piece by piece. There we go. Look at that. I've got a plus one quality. Still not an aftermarket. I want an aftermarket carburetor. So that's just something that I opened in a box or something. Get a special boxes for completing assignments. Let's see, I don't remember. Was it the V8OHVH? I believe it was. Yeah. Oh, see, I almost screwed up. Carburetor B. I almost bought two of them. I need carburetor A OHVH as well. There it is right there. Look at that. See? Almost spent $600 more than I needed to. Blech. Which, I mean, I got enough money to be okay with it, but if you're grinding early in the game, that'll really make you mad. Look at those pretty carburetors. So shiny. V8 OHVH air face air base filter. V8 OHVH. Now we can definitely get a, ti a uh, tuned up filter. Was it the VHOVA? No, H, that's what I thought. I believe you get one. V8 OHVH. There we go. Air filter cover. Don't have one. V8 OHVH. 
That will not be in the power shop. and shiny see I'd, I'd like to be able to put like a turbo on these things or something I think that would be pretty cool I don't know why they don't have that in the game cut a hole in the top of your engine and then the uh, top of the hood stick a big old turbo in there now you can with some engines there are some engines that you can do that but not all of them you should be able to do that on all of them water pump they do not have those in the power boost shop Pulley, not in the power boost shop. This is kind of the tedious part here, putting on all these front parts of this engine. RMB OHVC. Too. Should have just went in bar. But that's okay. Power steering pump. Now I believe you can get one of those in the boot shop. Yes, you can. Oh, I believe it's going to be the V8, but I don't remember. V8 OHVF. Good thing I checked. This one right here. Power steering pump boosted really do. I'm not much of an expert on cars, but I would think that would boost the horsepower. V8 OHV crankshaft pulley that is also going to be in the regular shop. Fiat mechanics. A, don't have one. Oh, you know what? There is a radio in this game. I can turn the radio on. What should we listen to? Go ahead and try to buy a hit. I've already got one. Typical. Typical. 
right here, man B. Cool. I already got one of those. I don't think those are in the power shop. Forget those dang clips. I got one clip. I need this other one here. Clip B. This little sucker that'll get you. You'll get this whole thing put together and then you're gonna forget clip B. There it is. Nine dollars for a little tiny piece of metal. Come on, man. That's robbery. Don't have any wires. Need some ignition wires. OHVH. Pressure 
voll. Boom, we did it. We built us a Hemi. Look at that. Pretty engine, even though the colors don't coordinate. Kind of bugs me, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, we'll put it back in the car. Let's see. Take it off the crate. Move our engine crane to car lifter A. Install. And let's say, look, there we go, our 100% image. Good. This back. It's good. All right. I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna take a pair of those. Strip it all the way down. Some rust on the frame. Get our welder over here. you could put on there. I don't know if there's any for that one or not. A uh, welding machine. We are going to get the rust off of this sucker. There we go. Simple as that. Look at that. Rust free.
whenever I'm doing the suspension. That's why I, I do that. So I got I got two of them. So I know I got one for the other side. If I just had one, I'll just go ahead and buy it. So I want to go back on the other side. Go back into it. You know? So I'm going to need two brake discs. Ventilated. Brake pads. I'm gonna need two sets of brake pads. Might have repaired the caliper. Let's see. Nope. I need two calipers. So, you have to go to this compressor over here and compress them. Whenever I first started playing this game, I could not figure out how to join these parts. That's how you do it. Do your spring compressor.
and now we can put the tire on. But the tire's in bad shape, so we are going to buy some new tires here. We get all this put together. Now, since I've already on the other side bought everything, I just have to put all this together. I don't have to go back to the tablet. Should have everything I need. It might take you a little time initially on one side, but the other side goes together pretty quick. Build up there and get lost in there. Don't forget about it. Suspension is my least favorite part to put together. There's so many little parts here and there. It drives me crazy. springs back here whenever you get to the spring part. Right. Spring caps, sweet, we got those. Do I have a spring? 80%. Ugh, I went perfect. I hope I can spell right.
tell it's an old car if it's got brake drums. Have those. Just gang money. Who needs gang money? Dry shaft, I fixed that. I did. I don't know if you can get a performance drive shaft. I think you could. Actually, I know you can. How did I put the Okay. to have a plethora of aftermarket fuel pumps. I couldn't see I have one. Glad I checked. That's all you have to do with the fuel system. I guess we ain't got to run fuel lines. It's that new kind of car. You know, it's, uh, it's truly direct injection. but it doesn't. I don't have 
So those rims were 14 inch rims. I kind of want some bigger rims. Or do I want to make it an off road car? I need some, I need some advice. I wish I could make different color rims too. I kind of want to make this. Card I want this to be. She let's do a make a yellow. Let's make a yellow. Four. So they were 14. So let's make them. Let's put some 20 inch wheels on there. All right, so this is your offset. All right, so how far do you want them to stick out? I like them to stick out a little bit. So we'll make them 10, not too much. So whenever you buy your tires, make sure you buy tires that will fit on a 20 inch rim. Oh, I didn't mean to hit escape. Back. Tire shop. All right, so we will put Tires on there. Why not? You need four. Size seven. No, I'm sorry. Twenty. Look at that. I almost screwed up. Okay, so before the width was 255. So put a 20 inch rim. They don't need to be as wide. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, Okay, so the profile is like... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So... I think profile is like height. Yeah, it's gotta be the width. Okay, so we're... Width, 35. I don't know what it means. It's a, so it's before, the profile was 70. A little less, I would think, since we have bigger rims. So we'll make it 55. This might look funky. I haven't done this in a while, so we will see. So now we go over to our tire changer. We are going to install these rims we just bought, the 20 inch. Get your tire done, make sure you balance it. 
install it. And I like to do that while I, because this will take you a second here. Get one going, get the other going, back and forth, back and forth. Get it done, it's kind of tedious. Sometimes I'll make these dash a little bigger. Color. Looks like a dragster, I guess. Whatever you want with it. Right. Yeah, I should make this front a little bit smaller, maybe. charge earlier. A battery that's been sitting in a junk car for years, all I have to do is put on a charger. If only that was the case in real life, right? Now. All right, so I'm trying to think. Um, I think we're ready to crank her. Let's see if it'll start. so I can sit down and crank it. Oh, ho, ho. we've got power. Sounds good. Sounds really good. All right. Well, the seat doesn't look too bad in there. A little low. Might put it in there later. I don't worry about it right now. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put the parts back on. Did fix the fender. You know, I wanted to see if there was actually... Let's see what kind of parts are available in the body tuning shop for the Atlantic. Oh, no, it was Atlanta. Having trouble spelling that, guys. Oh, so that's all the parts they have. That's fine. We'll go ahead and buy these. Cool. How much you want to bet? I already have some of these. Guarantee it. That's okay. Hood. Repaired it. Left headlight. Put the new fancy one in there. Black, but hey, whatever. It's pretty cool. I like it. Especially we don't have a yellow car. 
maybe yellow, I don't know yet. Door, don't forget your right side mirror. Glass is good. Front window, good to go. Left door, glass, mirror, rear window, tailgate. Let's put our black bumper on there. Our black taillights. Awesome. A fan of the wheels. In the wheels, you gotta. You know, if I've been playing this game a while, I probably could have got it right, but I, don't, I didn't really remember. It's okay. We are gonna move this car to the paint shop. Let's go get her painted. What color do we want to paint? You know, I am a fan of the, ooh, I like the shiny, but I kind of like the matte. I like the flat color. Alright, so, put some stripes on it too. Alright, let's, let's get her yellow first. color you have to just kind of mess with the sliders until you get the color you want kind of goofy all right need to be brighter so I get the yellow oh almost there that looks like barf let's make it a little brighter On the saturation. There we go. Doesn't really match our rims, though, does it? Oh, yeah, that ain't it. Alright, let's try to match those rims. It's more of a gold. Close. Getting closer. Yeah, I could just make it black and yellow. That's not too far off. I think I kind of want to make it black. those grayish. All right, let's do it. We want to drive it anyway. We've been building this thing for an hour and 30 minutes now. Yeah. All right. Car is done. Um, now let's go to our tablet and see. Well, I got some interior stuff already. Not my tablet. Go away. Interior. I mean, it's all the interior. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. This county seats are pretty cool.
I'll tell you what, let's put some let's put some red Bugatti seats in it. Why not? Right here. I wish we could change the color of the rims now, but oh well. Interior shop. Those poor seats aren't too bad. I like those. Let's do this. Let's do these. And steering wheel. Let's go with a classic. Classic wood. Three spoke. Oh yeah, that's good. I like it. Steering wheel. That's it, guys. It's built. Let's go put her on the dyno and see what she can do. Stuck behind the door. All right. horsepower at 4800 rpm i'll take it i will take it so let's go drive this thing um now you could if you wanted to mess with the uh transmission and change do you do that in here i can't remember i don't remember where you do it at be honest with you, I had done it in a while. I don't really want to mess with it right now because usually I end up screwing something up. Just want to sit in the car. Let me sit in it. There we go. And we will go to drive the car. Where should we drive? I'll tell you what, let's go to the speed track. go see what she does now I will tell you this the driving in this game it's not a driving game it's difficult and so I've made these cars with so much power and it's like the more power it is the harder it is so Did not remember that. Got to have them racing slicks if you're going to drag race. Off-road tires, they don't do it on the drag strip. And I ain't taking them tires back off. So we're just going to go out to the drag, to the, to the off-road track. It's probably still going to be sliding around everywhere, I guarantee it. But it sounds cool. It's fun building, so... Wish I had my own garage. I could do this for real. It'd be pretty cool. Oh man, it's just too much power. Let's do that. Let's go to the airport. 
airport's wide open and you can kind of control it a little bit but i think we're going to have trouble controlling this thing just too much power it's probably what i should have done if i should have put those fat racing slicks on the back of it if you really want to control it but you know, it's just kind of the look you want to go with i guess you know it's again this isn't a driving game it's it's a car building game fix cars build cars build up your shop Once I got to a certain point and had enough money, that's all I want to do is go to the junkyards and buy junk cars and just rebuild them. Just make them look cool. download um, Fords and there's Dodges there's I've got I've worked on Vipers have I worked on a Viper I can't I can't remember but I know there's Challengers and Chargers I don't think there's Dodge or Ram trucks but you, know, you got this F-350 right here this is a uh, like I said earlier this is a truck for a customer this is a Challenger I built this car I believe I don't think this is a started up if I did plus I knew I built it because I have a thing for black and orange I love that color it's all my modern colors if y'all watched my uh, stream last night who those tires were terrible see this <laughs> this might have been one of the first ones I made <laughs> god that's bad that's bad and, oof they're terrible oof gotta get some bigger tires on there let's get you some better shoes do that another time Anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate y'all checking the video out. If you like it, give it a like, give it a share. Follow my page. Um, just looking for some support, guys. All right. I'm out. Have a good night. See y'all later. Might see y'all on here for some Warzone later. If y'all want to watch some Warzone, we'll be playing some Warzone. And, uh, 
I'm not very good at Warzone, but still fun. Y'all have a good night. See y'all tomorrow.